angel that stands before me I saw him three years ago and he told me his name is Zion's help and I have not seen him in the last three years tonight I see this angel stand before me the helper of Zion and a vision is open before my eyes I see a lampstand a golden lampstand it's the kind of vision that Zechariah saw the spirits of the prophets of old walk in this room I sense that the prophet Jeremiah walks in this room I sense it by the intuition of the spirit I sense that Paul the apostle walks in this room And the beloved of the Most High, John, walks in this room. I'm about to chant prophetically. I don't do this many times. I do it when a heavy unction is upon me. Just clash the cymbals. I I am the Lord most high and I stand in the midst of you tonight say the spirit of the Lord for I am the Lord most high the captain of the armies of the Lord the captain of the armies of the Lord captain of the armies of the Lord I hear the sound of chariots chariots as of war chariots mighty chariots in the spirit mighty chariots and now I see them chariots of fire running as it were as a matter of urgency the northern army of the most high chariots of fire Come on, press. This is Koinonia tonight. Let every sound that you hear be of the Spirit. Let every sound that you hear be of the Spirit. For you shall see the heavens open. And you shall see the angels ascending and descending upon the Son of Man.
Come go with me behind the veil. Come go with me behind the veil. Come go with me behind the veil. Come go with me. 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 Come up here. Come up here. Behind the veil. Come up here. Come go with me. Come go with me. Come go with me. Come go with me.
Majesty, Majesty, El Elion, Baruch Haba, Hashem Adonai. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. El Gibor, El Elion. The multi breasted one. Yes, Lord, we thank you. For you will make us all that you desire for us to be. We expose ourselves to the fullness of your glory. Behold, I give you a new name, say the Spirit of God. I give you a new name. Just soak for a minute or two in the glory even if you don't have anything to say your stillness in the glory will not leave you the same for his glory fills this place yes I know his glory fills this place and your eyes will see him Hallelujah. Lord, you are in our midst and we thank you. We are not worshipping one who is afar. One of the blessings of Koinonia is that you know that God is real. that you draw nigh and see the reality of this person that we worship. Something will always be activated in your spirit when you draw nigh to his presence. Tonight, this auditorium is full of heaven. Hallelujah.
there's something about the presence of God. Listen. Nothing can replace the presence of God. Not eloquence. Not the head knowledge of scripture. There is nothing that can replace the intimacy of the Holy Spirit. Oh, there is such a river in this place tonight. Such a river. You'll never be the same. You may not know what the presence of God does to a man. The presence soaks and every fiber of your cell receives of that glorious presence. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lord, we declare that we are the people who are serious with you. We mean business every time we show up. We are not interested in just having a form of godliness, but that we want to be so close to you. So close. The Bible says, and Enoch walked with God oh that you will know the passion in my heart for you to walk with the Holy Spirit that you will be a testament of what his presence can do if you will quit chasing healing and power and anointing you will find it all in his presence will find it in his presence Bible says blessed are they that hunger and thirst it didn't say blessed are they that eat blessed are they that hunger and thirst for they shall be filled Holy Spirit I love you with the whole of my heart you anointed me to reveal you to the world how can one reveal such an awesome person? The Paracletos, the standby, the advocate, the strengthener, the comforter, the one who makes men wonders, the governor of my father's kingdom. Who but you is able to do wonders? You're the eternal spirit of the living God. When the heavens and the earth were being created, you were there. The one who turned the word into flesh and planted him in the womb of a virgin. The one who anointed the apostles and the prophets of old. The one who walks with koinonia. The secret of the grace. The secret of the impact. The secret. The one the Bible calls the blessing. Holy Spirit, beyond tongues. Beyond gifts. That you will reveal yourself to your people this platform is supposed to draw men and women into a depth of intimacy if we do not know you what message do we have to the world Lord we don't want to join many people just making noise we do not want to talk about a God we do not know That he will help us know the word. That he will help us know Jesus. For when he the spirit of truth is come. 
He will guide you in all truth. He will teach you. All scripture was inspired by Him. He is the Holy Ghost. The blessed third person of the Trinity who reveals Jesus to the church. And it is in partnership with him that the bride can say come. It's only the spirit and the bride that tells the words to come. For your awesome presence we thank you. Sickness cannot stand in his presence. Demonic oppression cannot stand. Everything that does not look like heaven cannot stand. This is the secret of freedom and you shall intercourse with the truth. And the product of that intercourse is freedom. Thank you. Thank you Holy Spirit. I am nothing without you. I know this. Absolutely nothing without you. Koinonia is nothing without you. Iena is nothing without you. Our gifts are only empty gongs without you. Our knowledge of scripture is vain without your breath. You are the only one who can cause true transformation in the hearts of men. Tonight we are yielding to you. And we are walking in your love. Blessed Holy Spirit. You are not a wind. You are not a bird. You are not fire. You are not a candlestick. You are God. You are a real person that seeks to be known. Oh Lord that you cause our eyes to see you and know you. That the product of our intimacy with you will cause us to shake the world. Thank you. In just one minute I like it to just say Holy Spirit my heart is open. Just pray a prayer in one minute. You must be an unbeliever to be in this